Um, just here to talk to you about some important and very exciting changes that are coming to logging on to the department's managed computers at school and at corporate offices using the user logon experience project. Uh, what this particular project is about is uh, two parts. Standardised logon firstly, where we are changing the way that you log on to your Windows computer uh, and, and all of your other corporate services uh, using your email address. So previously we had confusion where you had a username that had at dead NSW, others that had at debt, some that had no user extension and some that used a short user ID. Well, all of those are going away and what we're going to be using for every single user logon prompt that you ever get is your email address. That's going to bring us some advantages uh, in the longer term, but initially we need to get over this um, situation where we got a date of the 17th of August for all remaining school staff to start using their email address. This is staff only, students are not going to be uh, changing their user ID for standardised logon. So um, students will continue to function the way that they do at the moment. But the thing that's happening after um, standardised logon is completed for all users, uh, so all corporate staff have been done and uh, 130 schools have been done so far as part of the pilot, but the rest of the schools are going on the 17th of August. But once everybody's onto that new standardised logon, the next thing that comes into play is streamlined logon. And I've actually been cut over to this just the other day, and I'm going to show you what streamlined logon is all about. The big advantage of streamlined logon is that it's not only for staff, but it's for students as well. So you may recall uh, the, the term single sign-on or SSO. That was um, a term that we were promoting for a while. Well, we renamed that to Streamline Logon and it's part of the User Logon Experience Project. Uh, what does it do? If you want to go into your browser, Internet Explorer, for example, what you'll find once uh, you do that, you're, you're going to get the department's homepage appear on your screen. And when you go into login here and go to staff portal, what you would find is that normally it would ask you to enter your username and password, but now it just goes straight in. So because I've signed into Windows using my standardized logon, uh, it's now whenever I go into Internet Explorer uh, and want to go to portal.debt, or if I was a student, go into the student portal, student. Um, .edu.au, it will automatically sign me into my portal. So I don't have to worry about doing that separately. What does it mean but though uh, if, I sign in, if I'm signed in automatically? It means that it's not going to time out either. Uh, so unfortunately, we had situations in the past where you would walk away from your computer for 15, 20 minutes or so, and uh, you'd come back and you'd need to sign back in to use the portal. Well, that's not going to happen anymore because Streamline Logon will keep you signed into your staff portal and all of the applications uh, that you run from it. So that's a, a very handy thing, but it's also something that you need to be very careful about because if you walk away from your computer, anyone can walk up to it and they'll be uh, able to use the computer as if they were you. Check your email, uh, access your corporate applications and so on. So really important, if you walk away, log out or lock your device. Apple, uh, sorry, the Windows key and the letter L will lock the uh, computer and require your password to get um, back into it. So log out or lock is an important message to get across to all students and all staff if um, they're using the system logged on as themselves. So that's Internet Explorer. That's really great, but that's a, that's a fairly old browser. What about we look at new browsers like Google Chrome? It's going to do exactly the same thing. Uh, I've got some pinned tabs here, so um, there's some things that I regularly use. But what this is doing is it's going to bring up again the Department of Education's homepage by default. And if I go to log in here and go to staff portal, it will display the staff portal. Uh, this one here is coming up in dark mode because I've got an extension, a Chrome extension called Dark Reader, really nice. But um, that's uh, the staff portal automatically signed in. I can close that. If I go to Edge Chromium, which is Microsoft's newest browser, it again goes straight to the department's homepage by default 
And uh, if I go to login and staff portal, uh, exactly the same. We're going to see the portal page will appear automatically. That's really nice. Uh, so I don't have to sign in. That's the Streamline Logon in action. However, Streamline Logon does not work with every single browser. So Edge Legacy Browser, the one that came with Microsoft Windows 10 originally, uh, it simply does not work when you try and go into Staff Portal. It will say, I don't know who you are. Please enter your credentials. I'm not sure if I click that. Let's try it again. While we're waiting for that one, I'm not sure why it's taking a while, let's go to um, Firefox. This is another browser that doesn't quite work, unfortunately. And it, there it is, it's asking me for my credentials. And here it is back in Edge asking me for my credentials. So Streamline Logon, don't bother with uh, Microsoft Edge browser, don't bother with my uh, Firefox browser. Stick to Chrome, stick to Internet Explorer, and stick to the new uh, Edge Chromium that will be rolling out to schools and corporate offices uh, fairly soon. Okay, so that is, uh, that's really great for the signing on process, but there is a slight difference that we're going to see in our schools. And that um, is all about which page you actually get displayed on your screen, or in fact, which pages. Uh, what you will find as part of Streamline Log on your home page will automatically be the Department of Education. But in 35% of our ET4L schools, they use the setting that is available in ET4L where you can configure your own quite customized homepage. So some schools, for example, have set up a homepage that looks maybe something like this. Um, this is Westdale Public School, I think. So they've created a page in Google Sites and they made this their homepage for students so that they have access to all of these common links that they would use on a very regular basis. So what will happen for those schools that have customized uh, the IE homepage, Internet Explorer homepage, using the configuration option in ET4L, it will provide you with not only this page, which is the homepage, but it will provide you with the one that you set. If you didn't set one uh, in ET4L schools, what you're actually going to get is two copies, two tabs with this same page. So. Uh, the best thing that you can do is replace one of those by setting a customized home page. The instructions for setting a customized home page are actually pretty easy. Uh, there's a PDF document which I'll share the link to, but it talks about what it is, how you do it, where's the configuration page, and what you can do to set it. And in there, you can actually set one home page that applies to all users, students, and staff. So here, for example, it's going to be set to google.com.au if you just want Google as a homepage. Otherwise, if you want separate homepages for staff and students, you can have two lines where one is for staff and one is for students. And in this example, this is Westdale Public Schools link for students, but for staff, we're just going to show the Google page. You can easily create a Google Sites page that has customized links on it for uh, staff that has different links to what students have, and you can specify those two links quite separately and uh, they will then appear as the home page depending on who the user was that logged on anyway that's um that's all pretty exciting stuff that's coming very soon so the key dates to remember 17th of august is when all school staff are going to start using the standardized logon and very shortly we'll be announcing the date where we turn on streamlined logon for everybody and that's going to allow us to have uh, this automatic signing into our portal and all corporate, all most corporate applications. Um, but as well as that, we're going to have home pages available not only in Internet Explorer, but also in Chrome and also in Chromium Edge or Edge Chromium, which is Microsoft's newest browser. So I hope that's all very exciting. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little presentation and I'll see you next time.